So as you can see right now, I'm moving everywhere. Right, you can shoot. I'm using the the jumping one as well. And right now, I'm not using the IQ app at all. And I'm about to show you that right now. So look, once I open this, right, it's usually right here on the bottom right as a background app, right? It's not there at all. It is not even on my tax bar either at all here. And if I go to tax manager, let me look it up. You put IQ, it's not even on the list. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Envision controller without the IQ app. And you can use it wired and wireless. The reason why I'm showing you this is because we already know that the app is just all over the place, it's malfunctioning, it is not working properly, etc. etc. So this is kind of like a workaround that way your profile don't switch every time the app closes, and so you don't have to really worry about it too much with the app being open in the background, etc. etc. So you want to go ahead and open the IQ app. I got it right here. Boom. So once you open it, you navigate to your controller profile, right? And then the one that we're gonna be using is this one right here, okay? So hardware mapping, guys, right here. This one, just leave it as is. So once you're in this section right here, hardware mapping, all you wanna do is just assign any of these buttons that you want here. Now, this is the only problem that we have with hardware mapping, okay? So you cannot map these buttons right here, which are the G keys this one's right here or this one in here as well that's like the only only bad part bro like i wish it was just like the regular mapping that you can literally change any button on the controller what's the reason for that i don't even know bro but here you can only change the side buttons and the ones in the back but this is the only workaround that i know right now so you can play without the iq app so once you're here let's say for example me right i play i like to jump with the left paddle which is a so i want to just go right here i just right click it then i click go to the gamepad and then action once i'm here you just it's gonna be prompted with this file right here it's gonna be a b x and y and you just want to click right here a once it's that you're pretty much done for the jumping paddle which is this one which if i just show you right now let me get up since i assigned it see look since i assigned it and i'm jumping with the left paddle same thing for any other button that you're going to assign on this section only. So once it's that, then we just want to go right here to lightings and effect. Let me just put right here. Don't show again. Right there. You just want to put eco mode. That way it allows you to change the lighting. So you change it to eco mode off. Boom. So once we in here, right, this is the color that is going to be your profile. So if it is, if the, if the color is not here, let's say if it is, uh, let's say if it was like this. You want to click right there the same way I had it. And then you want to go to custom. Once you go to custom, then you want to go to solid on solid. You click right here, add the plus, and then you get any color you want right there. And that's going to determine if your profile is working or not. And you're going to know your profile according to the color that you assign it to. Boom. Then triggers. I'm not going to go over every detail, but you can copy what I got if you want to. This is pretty much personal preference. So I have it to linear and linear and I have a five, five on here and then thumbstick. I got linear and linear and I got one and one here, which you could beam with this thing too. Then vibration, make sure to have it all the way off. That way it doesn't mess up with your shot at all. And then device settings. This is where you're going to save it. Okay. So you want to go right here and it's usually always like every time you open up the app, right? Let's say you close it, then you open it again. This profile was always, is always going to like pop up again and again and again. So what you want to do, I always do is since I want to save this file that I just made right here, just overwrite all of them. Just overwrite them all. Now, why do you want to overwrite them all? Just in case, let's say any instance that the app want to open by itself or whatever it is. I don't know. You know how crazy the app is. Let's say, for instance, any of your profile changes, since I already saved them to all of them, it is always going to have the same profile that you assign it to since you already saved it to all of them okay but like i said the, this with this method it hasn't happened at all because obviously the app is not running in the back or etc etc so i'm pretty sure you're not gonna have that problem so once you exit out right there you want to do the same thing on this one if you want what you can do here these ones are always gonna pop up as well the same the same thing i don't know why they always pop up but what you want to do is just go ahead and delete delete all of them boom 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 and right here you can also guys remember that you could rename your profile that way you never confuse okay 
once you're done with that you're pretty much done now let me give you a quick tip if you have if you're using the hardware mapping right let's say you have it like this to custom make sure this one is set to preset right because this is what happened look right now it works right it works because it's detecting the hardware map now what happened is now let's say you were to go to mapping right and you click accidentally here and it shows like this where there is no mapping at all but this one is also the same way on custom they both on customs now what's gonna happen is it's gonna use this one it's gonna use the mapping one look now now the hardware profile is not working look see it's not working at all because it pretty much prioritized the first one which is this one so make sure to have this one mapping as preset and the hardware mapping as custom okay now if i go back right here boom see now it's jumping as usual so now it's detecting the hardware mapping now like i said right now it's working in the background right so let's say if you you could always turn this one off this one right here turn it off and it is gonna still work right now the app is still working on the background because it's right here so now for me all i have to do is just this quit once i take it out of the background now it still it still works now this will not work with the regular mapping it will not work if you close it out everything the controller is not going to work so just it, this is only working on hardware mapping this is wired and it also works on wireless which i have it right here and i'm gonna do the demonstration let me go ahead and connect it so if you disconnect this one boom right and then I'm, I'm about to connect this one right here. You connect the USB to your PC. And then there is the little indicator in the back, which right now is that wired. Then you want to turn it to your right and it's going to be wireless, right? Once you turn it to wireless, that's it. Boom. If the game doesn't detect it right away, just press the power button. But as you can see right there, as soon as I turn it, you already, I'm able to jump, shoot, and everything is good. Look, then I could jump still. I could still jump. See, so it's pretty much already grabbing the hardware mapping profiles. Boom, right here. So it's pretty steady, pretty fast and everything. And bro, a lot of people was asking me, yo, can you overclock your control while it's wireless? Pretty much you don't need to because i already have checked it on the overclock um settings and it is already to one millisecond so it's pretty this control already comes with super latency so it's like i don't know i really really feel the difference between wired and wireless because they both move fast as shit bro so should you overclock it i mean it's up to you i guess it's personal preference when it comes to this controller and yeah you could do it if you want to and experiment to see if you like it now if you want to know how to overclock any any controller make sure to go to that video i'm gonna put it on the link below and it's gonna be at the end of the video as well but yeah like i said again right now i'm wireless and i don't have the app running at all in the background boom it's not even here either so it's nowhere to be found right now and i'm still you know i'm still beaming and i'm still using the jumping paddle now like i said i have this one on but you can change any of the other buttons that only allows two so that i believe it uh, so it's the side buttons and the paddles in the back i just hope they update the damn app bro that way they stop crashing every single time because what happened is every time it crashes our profile changes and then you have to go back and then sometimes it's in some profile like if you have a lot of profile it just randomly switches it and then it just like your your head goes crazy bro like oh my god is my shot off this now and next thing you know is the is the profile has just changed then you gotta do it again then sometimes with the update it just you can't even sometimes you can't even do the update because it doesn't allow you to it i feel like it's just a mess bro if they update it and make that thing steady and that it doesn't crash and user friendly and it's stable then sure it's gonna be the best app for this controller of all time in the meantime if you don't map too many buttons give this a try and let me know if you like it in the comments also let me know in the comments if you have any other problems with the app as well or the controller itself guys and if this information right here was helpful at all in any shape or form make sure to hit the like on this video i'm just trying to grow and i'm not gonna stop grinding and for those people that like tips and tricks and are new to my content make sure to subscribe i appreciate it
You about to get the controller, whoever it is. Yo, a way in the building. What up? Who's gonna be? Let me see. Let me see who's gonna be. Oh, there you go. Congratulations. Let me see. Let me see now. And I appreciate you coming in here, Lid. I appreciate you, my boy. Yup, I appreciate you. Everything legit. I have to make sure. I, I just want to make it fair for everybody. You want the controller, and you say you wanted the colorful one, right? The colorful one. That one. Yep. That one right there. I'm going to send it with everything. That's going to be wireless and wired at the same time. Yep. Nah, the, the colorful is nice. Yep. Congrats, Liz. Yep. W. W for Liz. Good shit. Yep. And like I said, I will be doing giveaways here and there. Shout out to Mr. Lid that won the Envision Controller giveaway that I just did recently. And thank you, everybody, for participating on it. <laughs>